Gonna get out of the shop a little bit today. Just gonna go to the range. Um, kind of a fun day today, what I've got planned. I'm gonna take a 22 Magnum and see what that does. We're gonna take a 357 Magnum, see what the impact is there. And we'll take a 44 Magnum. So I'm taking all my Magnums out today. Um, if you've ever seen uh, bullets hit a steel plate, you always kind of wonder, well, does it mushroom? Does it splatter? What happens when you when you hit the steel plate with a, with a, a magnum round? We're going to go find out. We're going to take a paper target, uh, put up in front of a steel plate, and see what happens to it. And then we're going to take a, a milk jug, and we'll see what the impact is, a 22 versus a 357 versus a 44, and see how those magnums do on milk jugs, too. Should be a fun day. You ready? All right. Got a Ruger Single 6 with a 22 Magnum out of a five and a half inch barrel. <laughs> well, that's a 22 Magnum. All right. Got a Ruger Blackhawk 357 Magnum, six and a half inch barrel. That's what happens to a steel target. Got a Ruger Super Blackhawk 44 Magnum out of a seven and a half inch barrel. Here's that same 22 Magnum, now on a milk jug. Not that much fun. Now I've got that 357 Magnum on a water jug, the milk jug. I'm expecting a little bigger splash than that 22 Magnum. Just like that. Forty-four Magnum. Milk jug, I think I'm about to get wet. Not as wet as the 357. Well, there you can see, when those bullets were hitting this steel plate, they just became dust. That copper jacket, that lead bullet just blew apart. Um, there was no perfect little mushrooms like you see in a TV. And when they hit those milk jugs, it was explosive. Um, water everywhere, plastic everywhere. Um, those magnum rounds take good, take good care of milk jugs. Thanks for watching. Hope you had fun.